I had no idea that in-shower lotions were actually good. Hi guys, welcome to Hold The Leads. I'm Elise and today this is no ordinary lotion recipe. An in-shower body lotion locks the moisture in at the pinnacle of hydration. And unlike with a regular moisturizer, even when you wash it off, it leaves a barrier on your skin that remains intact and helps seal moisture in throughout the day. And that's what leaves your skin feeling so soft and supple and moisturized, but without any of that greasiness that you will inevitably have every time you apply a lotion or cream. Curious to see how I did it? <laughs> well, let's just get straight into it. Here's how to make an all natural in shower body lotion. As always, we'll begin by measuring out our ingredients. In shower lotions are essentially all suspended in water emulsions, so we'll need a good amount of water to begin with. For a further hydration boost, I'm also using aloe vera juice, but if you don't have this, you can just use plain water. Measure out a hefty amount of your glycerin or honey, more on this later, then the shea butter and your carrier oil of choice. Unsurprisingly, I'm using sweet almond oil for its many affordable benefits. Now here's where things start to get a little interesting. We'll need to use both emulsifying wax and almond wax. For those of you struggling to get a hold of almond wax, the full tutorial at holyleast.com has natural wax alternatives and other substitutions, a detailed breakdown of key in shower lotion components, and a list of ingredient suppliers. The link to the article will be in the description box below, or you can head on over to holyleast.com. Once all of your ingredients are measured out, in a heatproof container, combine the water, aloe vera juice and glycerin to make our water phase. And for the oil phase, combine the shea butter, emulsifying wax, almond wax and almond oil. You might have noticed this already, but our in-shower body lotion has a much larger amount of glycerin than you typically find in a lotion recipe. Glycerin is a humectant that draws moisture from the environment into your skin. In-shower lotions are of course applied to wet skin. So to take full advantage of glycerin's ability by adding more, we can literally pump your skin cells full of moisture. Almond wax is another ingredient that I've added to make sure that this in-shower lotion is particularly effective. If you've watched my multi-purpose balm video, then you'll know that wax is occlusive. It forms a very thin barrier on the skin, making it difficult for water to penetrate. Now this works in our favor because when we apply the in-shower lotion, our skin is packed full of moisture. So the wax ends up sealing the moisture into our skin and it slows down the process of moisture loss throughout the day. But it also has a secondary function of making sure that in-shower lotion doesn't completely wash off because external water, say for instance from a shower, won't be able to penetrate. Wax isn't ordinarily found in lotion recipes, but it's incredibly effective. And it's one of the reasons why in-shower body lotions remain on your skin and are able to provide you with deep, lasting moisture. Over a low, gentle heat, we'll need to melt down our oils while simultaneously heating our water phase before we can successfully create an emulsion. Once everything is melted, pour your oil phase into your heated water phase. If like me, you'll need a larger bowl, make sure the bowl is heated a little first before pouring in your ingredients. Whisk until everything's combined and we can move on to emulsifying. Whilst you can use an electric whisk, you might find that it incorporates too much air into your lotion, resulting in bubbles. Instead, using an immersion blender will give you better results and will aid in a smoother, silkier final lotion. As it cools, your in shower lotion will start to thicken up and develop that signature luxurious feel. This in-shower body lotion also has a much higher oil to butter ratio than typical creams and moisturizers. This is by design. Oils are able to penetrate the layers of your skin and even fill in gaps, making your skin better at moisture retention. The oils will also help to give our lotion sip. Because of course this is applied in the shower, it will help to make sure that it's easy to spread, but will also be absorbed rapidly into our skin. The oils also help to make sure that our lotion is light enough to be used in a pump or squeeze bottle. 
because those tub style containers won't work very well in a shower environment. Finally, oils are just more affordable than using butters. Now for traditional creams and lotions, butters have a host of benefits that you really get the benefit from. But because this is of course a rinse off product, you want to make sure that the ingredients that you use are geared towards being rapidly absorbed and having a higher impact in the short term. And now for the super important, totally non-skippable step, our preservative. I'm switching it up and using Preservative Eco, which is a little easier to get a hold of and is used at a 1% concentration. Check the description box below for a link to where I purchased this from. Next up is our antioxidant that prevents the oils in our lotions from turning rancid. And it's at this point where if you'd like your in-shower lotion to have a fragrance, you can add a variety of essential oils. I'm using vanilla, orange and bergamot essential oils, but feel free to add your own personal touch. Just remember to make sure that you don't add more than 1% of the total weight of your in-shower lotion in essential oils, as too much can cause irritation to your skin. You'll need to thoroughly mix in your cool down ingredients before we can move on to the next step. As I mentioned before, in-shower body lotions take full advantage of being applied to wet skin. Your skin absorbs more when it's wet, making the moisturising elements in this lotion far more effective. If you suffer from dry skin or eczema, oftentimes your skin can already start to feel dry as soon as you leave the shower. But using an in-shower body lotion actually prevents this. By applying a moisturiser before your skin has a chance to dry out, it assures that your skin retains moisture much more easily. You can also still apply a secondary moisturiser once your skin is dry. Now this double moisturising routine isn't going to be for everyone, but if you do suffer from severe dry skin or eczema, this could be the key in keeping your skin moisturised for a longer period of time. If like me, your pump bottle has an unreasonably small opening, you'll need to pipe your in-shower lotion into the container. Your lotion should last for at least 3 months depending on your preservative without requiring any refrigeration. Try to store away from direct sunlight. Apply your in-shower body lotion after your normal cleansing routine. Simply massage it into your skin, wait for a minute or two, and then rinse it off. That's it. There's no need to apply moisturizer afterwards and you can get dressed without the fear of leaving any sort of greasy residue on your clothes. For even more game-changing natural hair and skincare tutorials, check out the videos on screen and subscribe with that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. If you're not already on the in-shower lotion train, consider me your conductor. All aboard. 